What if I told you that I turned this lemon into a light switch? And what if I also told you that the lemon uses the same exact technology as the screen in your smartphone? Before we can fully understand what is going on here, let's dive into the world of capacitors and capacitance. Capacitors are a type of passive electrical component that are widely used in electrical circuits. They store small amounts of energy in an electrostatic field. Energy storage in an electrostatic field is called capacitance. You can imagine them as a super small rechargeable battery that we can stick into our circuit. But how exactly do they work? A capacitor is created when two conductive surfaces come close to each other but do not touch. When we apply a voltage, an electric field appears across the two conductors. And this is a form of energy storage. In between the two conductors, there is an insulative material called a dielectric. This could be paper, ceramic, or even air. These components are super simple. In fact, we can create our own using aluminum foil, paper, and some tape. First, we need to cut out two squares in the aluminum foil. We then tape one of them onto one side of the paper and the other to the other side of the paper. Next, we connect a lead to each side so we can connect to it. Using our multimeter and measuring across the two leads, we can see that there's a capacitance. But you may be asking yourself, why do we need these in our circuit? Let's look into a few examples of capacitors in circuits. The first reason is to provide a buffer of energy in our circuit. This is useful if we have components such as integrated circuits or other digital chips that need to sit power at will. If the battery is located at the opposite end of the circuit and it needs some power, it is much better if there's a capacitor nearby to draw energy from. The second reason is to filter analog signals. This is a circuit that provides a low pass filter and depending on the values of the resistor and capacitor, you can change the frequency. Capacitors also play an integral role in car, the car radio, filtering out everything except for the station you want to tune into. Lastly, capacitors provide a large amount of current almost instantaneously. This is useful for photography flashes and strobe lights. And in fact, if you were to open up a strobe light, you would see that it mostly consists of capacitors. But be careful, since these can carry a high voltage that could hurt you. Capacitors come in all shapes and sizes. After all, we don't have enough space in our electronic devices to cram our aluminum foil contraption from earlier. So scientists have come up with different types of capacitor packages for use in different applications. The ceramic capacitor is the most widely used, as it is small. However, this capacitor is normally limited to small capacitance values. Next are film capacitors. These are normally used in environments where there is either a high temperature or lots of vibrations. So you will normally see these in automotive applications. Lastly, we have electrolytic capacitors. These have a much larger capacitance than other types of capacitors and are constructed just like the one that we made out of aluminum foil earlier, except this one's rolled up. These capacitors are normally used in power supply applications to smooth out the voltage in our circuit. When we are dealing with electrolytic capacitors, there is one thing that we need to pay very close attention to, which is polarity, which means it only goes in one way. If you were to put it in backwards, it could explode on you. And in fact, since it is known this happens, they actually score the tops or bottoms of the capacitors to allow them to vent in a controlled manner if this happens. But they still give you a good scare when they do blow. Capacitors also have what's called a breakdown voltage. So when you are picking a capacitor to use in your circuit, you want to make sure that it won't be connected to a voltage source that is larger than that number. One of the most widely used applications of measuring capacitance is the touchscreen in our phones. Our bodies act like a capacitor, and when we touch our screen, the screen is able to measure the capacitance of our body through our finger. And this lemon is doing the exact same thing. When I touch it, a capacitive touch sensor is being used to trigger the LED to light up.